Hey, what's up? In this edit, I'm looking at the uh, double exposure effect, but I'm going to be using still photography and video uh, clip playing in the still. So I'm not actually going to be using two videos. Uh, here's the first photo I'm going to look at. So you can see it's just black and white. It works pretty well with the Kia um, effect because you've got a lot of white and quite a bit of black. Um, so also, if you're going to do it with a video, you kind of want the same thing. You want either, like, say, blue sky or white sky and then the object... Um, to be in front of that. Uh, they just work really well. What I'm going to do is just drag a Kia effect on top of the photo. So I've added the Kia effect. Uh, now a lot of videos, they I guess they look at um, doing the sample color and doing all that now. I normally wait until the next um, stage. So I'm not going to put this do anything at the moment. I'm just going to turn this into a compound clip. So it's a compound clip. And then I want to double click and edit this compound clip. I'm going to drag a clip that I want to make the double exposure effect with. I'm going to put that underneath the photo. Okay, so I've got a video now in underneath the photo. And you can see there that it plays. And you can faintly see the photo also. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click this photo. And this is where I'm going to come over to the Kia effects here, or the panel. I'm going to click on sample color and drag somewhere in the sky um, or somewhere around. And I can play around with this and tweak it to the desired look that I want. So the reason I do it now is because now I can play around with this um, and get the desired look uh, in real time. So that looks pretty good there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just invert that. So if I invert it, it's going to obviously invert it. And now you can see that the clip plays uh, in the black areas and the white isn't really affected. So I'm nearly done with this, but I'm going to add one more uh, step to it. I'm just going to copy this top clip or the photo. And I'm going to head back to the project now. So using this little arrow, I'm back into the project. And you can see that the compound clip now has that... Uh, clip or the video clip playing inside of it. So I'm just going to paste um, the copy that I just made. You can see here it is. And I'm just going to drag it underneath and position it underneath the compound clip. That essentially that doesn't do anything right now. You what you have to do is you have to go back onto this compound clip and add a Kia, a Luma Kia. So what I'm going to use the Luma Kia for is that I can uh, create intros and outros and I can change the effect um, of this using this Luma Kia. First thing I want to do is I'm going to go to this bottom clip and because I copied it from um, inside of this compound clip it's got a Kia effect on it. I'm just going to delete that. So just playing around with the Luma Kia you can uh, just even just do a bit of you can slide this a bit and you can see there changes it a little bit so I'm just going to say bring that to about there add a keyframe Come in, say about there. I'll slide this all the way back, and you can see that it kind of comes into effect. I kind of want it a bit brighter. So that looks a bit better, like that. Yeah, it's good enough. So I'll play that. Cool. So that's just the basics of that. You can play around with this quite a bit. Um, also, with the blending mode, uh, but I'm just just going to show you that that's just kind of kind of the basics another example I'll use this photo here again it's just a photo uh, black and white I'm going to add a key onto it and create a compound clip and then double click and enter into it and I'm going to drag a video underneath that okay so I've got a video underneath it's kind of just like a time lapse of some balloons so the next thing I'm going to do is head to the top clip here or the photo and sample color and I'm going to sample some of the color and change it around so again I'm just going to move this around until I get the desired look I want so I kind of like that there that looks pretty cool um, and then I'm going to I'm just going to copy that again copy the top clip or the photo Head back into the project using this arrow here. Now you'll see the compound clip or the photo um, has the balloons in it. I'm just going to paste. I'm 
just going to delete the Kia uh, on the bottom clip and then I'm going to add a Luma Kia onto the compound clip or the top clip and then I can play around with this Luma Kia to get the desired look that I want you can change it up so you can add keyframes so again doing an intro um, so I want it to be say so do an intro I want it to be like that and then as it progresses on I want it to become more enhanced and then say at the end I want it to go back to show more of the original clip or the original photo. You can see there, looks pretty cool. So if you like this video, subscribe, like or comment. Until next time, thanks.